What's up YouTube? I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, cabag games from tabletop to video games. And today we are reviewing my 60 card prank kit deck. That's why you heard me 60 cards because not only did we top an OTS, but it was an OTS for the post ban list. So that is for the new ban list that's starting on February 7th. Now it wasn't intentional that I built this deck at all. It was mostly because I was building another deck that was for the current ban list of what is left of the days right now. And I realized that the OTS tournament at my locals is actually going to be a post ban list for the new ban list, which did not quite work because with scheduling at three, that deck was just horrible. So I decided to build a whole new deck but with last minute planning couldn't really do it so i decided just to put a bunch of stuff in it and see how it works well it paid off with a score of being x1 and only losing once we managed to actually top which i was very surprised because i wasn't planning of actually winning but we got this very nice field center because of it now i'm not a big fan of evil twins but this thing definitely looks very nice and honestly I don't mind doing this as a giveaway. If we actually hit, because right now we're at 600 subscribers, if we manage to actually hit 700, I would actually like to do a giveaway for this for anyone that's subscribed to the channel. So if you actually want to win the skill center, definitely subscribe to the channel because we also have other giveaways as well. So if you win this giveaway, don't worry. You can definitely win the Forbidden Droplet as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers so make sure to like and subscribe so with that being said let's get to the actual deck now this is a big pile of cards 60 cards so probably the biggest deck profile we have ever done on the channel well no we did Ododic that also had 60 cards but you know what let's we'll see how this video goes maybe it might be too long i hope not if it does i do apologize so starting first we're going to start with the prank kids so we have Definitely three fancies. Let me just set everything up. Sorry for the glare. Definitely trying something new for the channel to see if you would prefer like this more for deck profiles or if you like it back how it was before. Now we have three lampsies as well. Three dropsies. Two Roxies, and yes, we are playing a small engine. And you're going to see in this deck, it's quite simple. Just play as much hand traps as possible. So your opponent can't play, but you're not playing either. But it doesn't matter. We just need one prank kit, anyways. Then we have two prank kits place. We have one prank kit prank. And then we have the one Panamoyum as well. Next, we have one Thunder Dragon Fusion, one Power of Desires, because it's at one for the ban list. Then we have one Instant Fusion, one One for One, one Terraforming, one Monster Reborn, and one Cold by the Grave. And finally, for the last one that we have in this deck, it's going to be Pankatops. Now, Pankatops is quite good because we actually did a Pankatop beatdown in one of our games. So there's actually a lot of cool things that we did with this deck. And if you're wondering what deck did we lose to, well, it was Dogma Invoke, completely bricked. But I would tell you right now, the most impressive thing about this deck was actually we did not hit time once. And most of our games was actually 2-0. So it was very impressive to the point that yeah, I had like 20 minutes that I could actually chill and not rush for the next round or anything like that. So very surprised at the same time, but definitely did like the deck. Now, if you're wondering what we went against most, now at the tournament, there was a lot of Elitz players and Sky Striker. Sadly, we did not go against Elitz because, you know, Prank Kids versus Elitz, Prank Kids has a very easy matchup, but we went against a lot of Sky Strikers and we beat them. So it was perfect. Next for twos, we have two Mystic Mine. Then we have two Infinite and Perms. Two Droll and Lockbirds. Because I was thinking about playing 
three, but honestly, a lot of people didn't cite it. But you're going to see why he pair at two in uh, just a few minutes. Then we have one driver because we are playing three gammas, which is amazing. And the amount of times that I used this and was able to sync, it was perfect. Then we have three Nibirus. And this is actually why I only playing two Joels, is that I was playing three Joels and I took it out for the third nib. And it was probably one of the best moves that I did. Then we have three Phantasmes because with Sky Strikers, this was amazing. This was the best card. And I was so sad against the Dogma Invoke because he was linking off and everything. They didn't have Phantasme. As soon as I drew from my draw face, I drew into the Phantasme, which really sucked. And honestly, I kind of wish uh, I had it in my hand to begin with. But it's okay. Still a great card. was able to use it on all of other decks as well. But definitely it is a good card. And I find it's quite great for today's format, especially. So, you know what? Maybe in other deck, I might actually consider maining it still. Then we have three Ash Blossoms, three Effect Veilers, and now for the spells, the reason why we have so many hand traps and some at two and some at three is because we have three cross outs in the deck. Now definitely we have a huge selection, so pretty much this thing was just stopping everything. Even in one of my games, I was able to stop my opponent Pot of Desires Rip across that. It was definitely probably a pricey one since Desires is that one, but it was definitely worth it. Then we have three triple tactics. Amazing card. Wasn't able to use it as much. I find there was more back roll than muscle ability heavy, but uh, still worth it. Still uh, use it a few times for like hand traps and especially if I had like plays like cross out or call by the gray or even gamma i was able to do the tactics after and still benefit off it even had my opponent at one point which was very nice now we have our go second cards with this three forbidden droplets three lightning storms and then finally for our last set we have three super poly and that's it for the 60 cards in the main. Now, let me tell you that Super Poly is an amazing card. Definitely beneficial, well, to us, but mostly to get rid of our opponent's board and they can't respawn or do anything. And it was just nice. I loved it. So we're going to put this into the side. And now we're going to focus on the extra deck. So let's get started. So we're going to have one totally awesome. One Omega and then one Preda Plant Verte. Now, let me tell you, Omega was amazing. I just loved it with Gamma. It was perfect. I think uh, it's ridiculous when people are playing Gamma and they don't find room for Omega. It has a lot of uses, even if uh, your opponent does like Maximus or something. You're able to shuffle back any card you want back into the deck, your opponent's, or even yours. Really good. Predator Plant Verte was pretty much the only one I didn't actually use. So I might change it. I'm not too sure. Like, it still has use, like, in a lot of situations. But it was to the point that it wasn't really too necessary, I find. Totally awesome. Was definitely good. Then we have... One Meow, because it's that one. One Bow Wow Bark. One Rip Roaring Rooster. And then two Doodoos. And that's it for the Link Monsters. Now we're going to go into the Fusions, which is one Rocket Ride, one Weather Washer, and one Battle Butler. Now you have to understand that the deck is really like preservative, you have to really care about your resources. So there's many times that I had one prank game in my hand and I didn't even play it. Like it was just pretty much focusing on my hand trap, stopping my opponent from doing plays, 
not an issue, but I was really not trying to use my prank kit and saving it for the last end point so I could actually benefit and don't have to worry about stuff like um, ashes or anything like that. So that's why it was pretty good. Definitely liked it. So that's it for the prank is now for the fusions that we have that is also our super poly but also instant so we have linear miles restrict which is really good because it counts also as a kind of like a cross out when you use that uh, instant fusion as well so you could do your prank is plays or if you want to just special summon your uh, rocket ride you can do that as well so it's definitely a really good card. Then we have Mud Dragon, which was probably the best Super Poly target because not only were you able to pretty much fuse anything, but also his ability for the targeting is actually quite good. You get his effect is you cannot target him or any other monsters that has the same attribute. So pretty much he's water, but he has a quick effect that changes his attribute. So if you're against like Sky Striker, you could call wherever attribute you want and you are all set. Then we have Starving Venom Dragon. And finally, we have the Predator Plant as well. That is quite good, especially since we have Fusion Monsters. And that is it for 60 card Prank It deck. Now, the side is very um, not recommended because not only did was there like half of the cards we didn't even use for but i wouldn't even consider anyone to even try and attempt building the site if you want to have fun and build the main and the extra deck go for it make any changes you want but it was really not that bad to actually play a whole deck that was pretty much hand trap and just have a very small engines that was pranks and that's it for a deck profile. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe, and especially subscribe since I would like to actually do this as a giveaway as soon as we hit 700 subscribers. We're very close as well, so it's not going to be that long to actually do. And also, if you guys want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review on the channel, you can follow me on my Instagram, Vaughn Gear. I'm Vaughn, and this was the Gear Channel.